Won't you sing to me now the sword of blue flame to beloved Archangel Michael? Please stand. Number 283. Please sing it with full voice and gusto and heart. Visualize the central sun above you, a large disk of sacred fire blazing. This is the sun behind the sun, the spirit of the living God. Standing in the center of the sun is none other then beloved Archangel Michael, Prince of the Archangels. Oh, 
light bearers of the central sun. I am in the very midst of the fire aflame in your hearts. How then can the fire be aflame? Because it is fanned to extraordinary proportions by the devotion of the mother passing through your hearts and your heart's devotion passing through the heart of the mother. Thus it is truly the divine ritual of the saints' communion. Drink me while I am drinking thee. O one most lowly, O blessed heart and rose of Sharon, fairest of all and yet tiniest flower, be comforted in this hour for the victory of our God is nigh, even the full victory over death and hell. Thus this rosary to me, beloved, is in fact the threading of the eye of the needle, of the recitation of prayers and mantras to my heart. So I desire my saints and chilas and devotees and legions to also recite my dictations, both with the dictations and in the hours of the affirmation of my power. For you see, beloved, I, Michael, Prince of the Archangels, am authorized by God to place my electronic presence where you are, to step up your four lower bodies and your chakras for the fulfillment of the protection of this holy church and the judgment of the seed of the wicked pitted against it. So it is foreordained that God does allow the fallen one to attempt to destroy the citadel of his manifestation upon earth. And therefore in the very trying and in the malintent, the fallen one is judged and that judgment becomes the final judgment. There is no other reason for the descent of the living Christ in you than for the judgment of this world. And therefore Jesus said when he descended, trailing clouds of glory, for judgment I am come into the world. Yes, I know you have heard it said that he did say, Lo, I am come to do thy will, O God, and indeed he did, and in the infinity of the moment's descent, the pure living Christ of Jesus said many things, affirmations of his reason for being, commitment and the vow to fulfill holy purpose. Therefore, beloved ones, I am indeed come this day from the central sun, for I have journeyed to the sun in your name and in your behalf, whilst the messenger did keep the flame of life understand how she has felt this day the momentum of death and hell and this is because of my absence and therefore my insistence that her own causal body containing my own should carry the weight and the balance in the earth thus that darkness is offset by the living spirit of her causal body and mine and you may witness through then a small glimpse of the initiation of the dark night of the spirit when one's own attainment must count for the holding of the balance. Thus from time to time, one or more of the ascended host who keep the vigil with the messenger do withdraw and go to that central sun for many reasons. And in that hour, it is then the testing and the initiation that the messenger should hold the balance of our office in the flesh. These are the preliminary testings of the soul unto the fullness of that initiation. And you may come to understand also 
how from day to day the holy angels come to you asking for prayers for a certain virtue of freedom or truth or healing and you find yourself giving those mantras of the sacred fire and thus you beloved keep the flame for some part of life as you are able and in so doing strengthen your spirituality and your self-awareness of your own attainment in the light for you come to realize just how much worth does your ritual of prayer contain and therefore you give gladly and to overflowing the praise of the lord feeling how that light does count somewhere somewhere in hell for the binding of a fallen one who does reach out to snatch one of light yet walking the physical octaves and you have been taught that this is accomplished from the very pit itself to the agents of the sinister force in embodiment and therefore count not the cost but understand what a magnificent day it is when you can give anew and again the rosary to the archangel michael who i am for i tell you i give it unto god immediately and all of my legions of light may respond in answer to your call and we have responded in the power of the three times three which is the sacred nine and we may therefore go to those conditions which heretofore we have not been able to touch beloved ones for you will understand understand that when we receive calls and we receive the mantras to our heart we must use them always on those situations most dire and of greatest necessity and when there are not enough calls forthcoming then some of lesser necessity but then also of great peril to the earth must not have our intercession as the quantity of the call goes forth as the quotient of the sacred fire descends as the hearts are one as above so below in our own hearts and woven together in the heart of the messenger so we may act and act again to prevent the untimely passing from the screen of life of many souls of light who must play their role in this particular hour which is critical even before the sight of alpha and omega as the father mother god have told me this day for it is a critical turning point in the nations you have realized that many hours and key dates in this century and past have been critical but this is an hour for the mounting of the forces of freedom for defense and for now the strengthening of the spine of america and the spine of her leaders we take then this offering of your hearts for the strengthening of those spines beginning with the white house and the congress we begin therefore and we are determined that the freedom fighters of this world in every nation shall have the full support of the people of light in every nation we are god determined that they shall have the supply the food the medical care and those equipments that are absolutely necessary to wage warfare in the physical octave against those fallen ones and satanists that move through soviet forces to destroy afghanistan to take over other nations and to come into this hemisphere we say they shall not pass to the name of almighty god they shall not pass to the name of almighty god and we shall have the victory but in this hour beloved ones the corrupt ones who gather in central and south america who have been corrupt for so long who have taken advantage of the people and denied them in their condemnation and placed upon them ignorance and even in some quarters the holy church has promoted ignorance instead of enlightenment through the dynamic decree and through the call to me beloved hearts in the face of all of this adversarial contact that we face there we still demand the victory we still demand the overturning of the right and left extremists and the fanatics and the murderers who move against the children of light but beloved hearts it will take more than a miracle it will take the absolute intercession of almighty god through you and therefore we call and we demand and command in this hour the perpetual vigil of the hours for which we have called earlier in this year we call then for the vigil to my name archangel michael for it does command the obedience of every angel and archangel in heaven and all the hosts of hierarchies of the central sun do respond and beloved ones we must have this offering for we must spare this hemisphere for this hemisphere must be undivided from pole to pole from sea to sea and her waters and her lakes and her mountains and the places under the earth must be cleaned out and therefore we dedicate ourselves to the going forth for the remainder of this conference now into the pits that exist in this hemisphere and for the exposure of the fallen ones who come out of every nation 
to seek what they may find, whether for greed or money or lust for power or world dominion or world communism. They come to rape this hemisphere. They come to steal the light and the precious children and youth do not know or understand when their chakras have been raped when their crown, third eye, and throat chakra have been taken, when the light has been taken from them, beloved hearts, I appeal to you and I tell you, this is the beginning. Let us continue with the perpetual prayers, for we are ready at command of those in embodiment, and we cannot act in the physical octave if you do not implore in the name of Almighty God that he send us to the rescue of the souls of light. I thank you, beloved hearts, for your momentous attention, for the purity of your hearts, for the devotion of your life, and most especially for the enlightenment of the heart and mind that enables you to understand the science of the spoken word. I thank you for your understanding of the necessity of the messenger and the protection of the messenger that we might release to you this full out of sacred fire for it is one thing to read the dictations it is another to stand in our presence and receive that light which is for your infilling for your godhood for your ascension for your resurrection beloved hearts work while you have the light for you must absorb into your very pores this day and always our releases of our dictations that you might know what it is to to have that protection and acceleration necessary for you to be our very instruments. For we, the archangels, must step through the veil. We must show by the path of teaching and education of the heart what it is necessary to accomplish in America as that base for freedom. And we can accomplish little when the representatives of freedom do not fight for freedom in every domain, in the pure Krishna consciousness of the mighty spiritual flame itself. For no battle that is physical must be fought except by the divine power of the word and the mantra and the universal Christ and the hosts of the Lord. The physical implements of war or security or protection, beloved ones, are only the final manifestation, a vehicle in itself through which the light of God may vanquish all evil. And I tell you, there is evil in the earth and there is no equality between the USSR and the United States of America. There is none whatsoever. It is indeed a battle of light and darkness and an Armageddon. And it is the powers that be against the children of the light in both nations. And therefore, let those where the preponderance of the power of Saint Germain has rested, let those who have received to the divine approbation the glory of God and the blessing, those who are in the United States of America and who are yet free to act, let them be the revolutionaries of the spirit, for we demand a spiritual revolution of the sacred fire. We demand the victory of that divine all-seeing eye of God. We demand the Godhead manifesting now in action, and we demand that the world shall see and hear and know what is that perfect and possible sequence that can take place on planet earth riptide by riptide we pull the cord of light and from the central sun the light descends so let the chalice be abrased so let your hearts be full let your hands be upraised now for we pour into your being as you have become the holy grail through your devotions that light of 10,000 suns of protection, perfection, white fire and blue lightning, even that of the God star Sirius, and therefore be sealed, beloved, be sealed. I thank you and bid you good evening. Hail Archangel Michael. Hail Archangel Michael. Hail Archangel Michael. Hail Archangel Michael. Hail Archangel Michael.
Truly, if I had 10,000 lives to give, I would give them all to Archangel Michael. But since we have one, and that one is the equivalent of God, let us truly give it.